Hello everyone, welcome to Social Learn Academy. This is the Gage Manor. Today, team, we are going to take you through two while well loop in Java, and this is the video number 10. So, this is just a continuation on our playlist object only programming using Java. So, on this playlist, we are going to learn the basics of Java and also we are going to add the object oriented programming concepts. So, on our previous video, team, we are looking at a while well loop. So if you didn't watch that video, please go and watch that video first because on this video we are going to do a do while loop which will require you to know uh, the while loop, how a while loop works. But this is just an addition of that. So team, if you are new to this channel, please click that subscribe button so that you motivate us to do more videos. So please don't watch the whole video without clicking that subscribe button. Please do subscribe to this channel it motivates us to do more videos okay without wasting much of your time let's start this video so the do while loop in java so the do while loop is a variant of the while loop so you need to know the while loop first before doing this so this loop we execute the code block once before checking if the condition is true then it will repeat the loop as long as the condition is true so the thing is that with this do while loop you are just saying do something at first then you check the condition so it is guaranteed that it is going to execute the code block once because you are going to do something and then you check the condition just like that so if you look at the syntax of a two while loop we've got the do and then we have got uh, the code block and then we have got the while condition later on in the termination and the condition is just a boolean condition which will give you a true or a false just like in a while loop but here we are just say do this and then check the condition later just like that so if you look at this basic example that we have we've got initially initialized our i to zero and then we are going to do something while well, i is less than 5. So we are guaranteed that the code is going to execute once, which is in the do, and then we keep on checking the condition on while well loop just like that. So we keep on looping where well, the condition is what is true. So I'm going to dive into the code so that we see how this works. So I'm just going to quickly explain this to while well loop. So I already created this application that I have. The Java application and the class as well. So I'm just going to do a certain example and we wrap up the video. So team, the syntax is just very simple. You just need the statement or the keyword do, and then you need while, and then you terminate. Inside here, you need to put a condition. So let me just declare the variable maybe i and initialize it to zero, just like that so that you can use it so inside the team i can just say well i is less than five so what's going to happen here i'm going to do what is in here where i is less than five and we are guaranteed that the condition or the block or the code in here is going to be executed at least once why because you are going to do something before checking the condition just like that so maybe let me just print out uh, maybe that let me just print our i there and then i have to increment i to make sure that this condition will become false otherwise you create an infinity loop where i will be always zero so this condition will be always true just like that so we need to increment i by one always so that we can at least go beyond five so that the condition will become false so if i execute this you're going to see that we're going to get zero one two three four why because i started at zero that's why i printed this zero and then when i is equal to and then we do the condition is it zero less than five just like that if it is true then do this again just like that so it's it's actually very much useful uh, maybe when you want to do something like a menu based or you already have a certain block of code that you want to execute at least once where the certain condition is what is true just like that that's where you can use this while loop otherwise you can just go for a while loop so let me just show you some cases where you can use it maybe you want to create a menu based maybe to demonstrate that i need a scanner object you can create i want to take the input from the user and then i ask the user if he wants to continue with the application if that user wants to continue with the application can enter some value and then we can keep on looping the while loop so let me just say where input 
uh, so not where any port let me just create a new scanner object do not use the scanner object you have to import it right system dot in so this is just for for taking the input from user using the scanner object you have to import it just like that so after that what i'm going to do maybe i'm just going to say instead of printing this let me just say uh still while executing just like that right let me just ask the user to enter something to exit right and then i will modify here so i'm just saying um system maybe system dot out dot print line let me just say maybe enter zero to continue uh, just like that and any number to exit just like that right so after doing this I'm just going to take i and initialize to input right dot next in that's how you can take the input from the user so it's as good as the user is going to type the value and then we put the value into i so we are going to say well i is equal to zero keep on looping this block where i is equal to zero right otherwise we are going to exit so i'm just going to say i'm just going to say out of while so in other ways here we are going to keep on looping this till i is not equal to zero right are you seeing it so if i run this still executing well and enter zero to continue and any number to exit if i put zero there you are going to see we are going to continue but if i put maybe eight you are going to say out of while just like that so this is how a while loop, a do while loop works you are going to actually run this at least once and then you check the condition if the condition is false then we will just exit the loop just like that so that's all about a do while loop team so if you actually like this video please click that like button as well as the subscribe button for you to be able to see more videos that we post here thank you for watching